BNB is just getting started. For those people who don't know, BNB is the Binance coin. You can see here that Binance came down here in that fashion year. We were going to break out here, but manipulation again brought it down. Yeah, we've got a double breakout. You can see how Binance is just really, or BNB is just starting to break out here. Actually, higher than my target here. As a matter of fact, remember we said it's going to come like that and break up here. Do not be surprised, and I say this too, I'm not ruling out that we can have a vertical spike here into this target. If you go back to this target here, you can see this is about 18 April. Let's go back here. That is 8 November. The BTF token is the native token of BitcoinTAF.com. We as a company have got our own crypto. It's called BTAF. If you go back here, 8 November high point that I showed you there is there. I will not be surprised if this coin has a vertical spike similar to BNB going back up to these levels here. What you need to understand about this token, for example, and remember, I'm just going to give you a caveat. I'm not giving a forward-looking price on the BTF token. I'm not enticing anybody to buy. Why? Because the BTF token is a utility DeFi token. It is not a security token. We built the BTF token, spend a heck of a lot of money on legal fees and research and whatever. We build it in Australia under the Australian guidelines of, of the Australian Securities and Investments Commission, which is called ASIC. Now, with that said, I want to show you quickly some stats, what's happening in BitcoinTAF.com. Remember, the BTF token is a working project. You look at all these coins in the world and you actually wonder, what the hell are these coins doing? It's just a coin that somebody created. Let's call them meme coins. Whatever these coins are, they've got no company behind them. Now, look at us at BitcoinTAF.com. And I'm going to mark a few things here quickly for you to have a look at. BTF token is the native token to BitcoinTAF.com. Our community consists of about 60,000 members. We grow 23% year on year. Now, a very interesting statistic here. The active subscriptions are increasing by 7% year on year. Very low at the moment. But remember, if you look at a company that's very young, if you look at the crypto market that's very young, that is a tremendous growth rate. Then our churn rate, look at this, is 1% of those subscribers. The worldwide standard for a churn rate is 5 to 7%. We are in the top echelon of churn rates. We want to make sure that people get the right data that they can't get anywhere else and accurate data. And this is why the churn rate is so low. We have now paid out over $6 million in Bitcoin commissions. Remember when I showed you on my iPhone, I said I made about 70, 80,000. Uh, that is what I mean, that we have paid affiliates out since 2016 between 5 and 6.2 million, rounded up to 6 million in terms of Bitcoin commissions. Now, remember the Bitcoin value also increased. So you have to take that into account. But look at this now. During the year 2023, and it's not even done yet, we have created 268 thousand, let's say 269,000 statistical data points. Uh, this is over 30 stats per hour. Every hour, there's 30 statistical data points that's happening on BitcoinTF.com. They could be sales. They could just simply be transactions. They could be people that are being paid, commissions, and uh, it could be people that buy the BTF token. The paid commissions are being paid out live. If you refer somebody and that person buys a long-term trade report, you're going to get your $15, $25 immediately. It's like instantly. And then we pay that out to you. And look at this. We have 212 million reports have been downloaded since 2016. This is what you call a working project. We have not even started yet. I'm going to show you something else here as well. Uh, let me just see if I can find it here. I wasn't going to talk about it, but uh, it will actually be really good if I can find it. This will be launched next year. Now, remember, this is our own website, BitcoinTF.com. Just going to make the screen a little bit larger or maybe just move that down a little bit. Here you can see BitcoinTF.com or the BTF token. Use BTF tokens to purchase goods and services on ecosystems globally. We will go mainstream, but we're going to go slow because we're a utility DeFi token. I'm not going to just push and get onto any website that wants us you know we're not going to work like that i'm going to do it very slow methodically according to the guidelines that the australian Securities investment commission has laid out on us soon what's going to happen is and this is live you will be able to go and connect your metamask wallet to this you connect it there 
and you can literally swap instantly from BNB to buy the BTF token. If you click on that, you can literally go and choose US, USDT, for example. If you have that in your wallet, you choose USDT and you go and buy the BTF token. You say connect wallet and there you go. And then here on the bottom, we will have a chart of what's happening with the BTF token and then how it works is on the bottom. So this will go live next year. And then also remember our NFTs are going live as well. So just a little bit of history about BNB and the Binance coin. Now, remember this now. People don't understand what we have done here. When we decided to build the BTF token, we had a few options. We had Ethereum. We had Sol, a whole bunch of other coins. We could build it on, on a lot of ne networks, Ethereum especially. We then looked at BNB, and I analyzed BNB. And I said, something in our algorithm shows that BNB goes to $7,000 for one single BNB. And the game was over. That's when I said, no way, we are building our token on the BNB network. And then the news came out about CZ has been fined $4.7 billion and uh, he's going to retire and he can't work in the company anymore. But then something suddenly came out. The US government is taking over BNB. And that's what my data shows. Think about this now, guys. The US government has got their fingers now directly in the pie with BNB. They can now force BNB to start using the US dollar. Like I said, there's three wars going on around the world right now. It's the Ukraine war, the Israel war, and the Binance war. They are not physical wars, although they look like physical wars. They are spiritual financial wars. And that is why the BNB token is going to excel in price.